Hi again, everybody. Karen here. Um, it's been about eight months. It was August of 2017 when I had the permanent spinal cord stimulator placed. And I just wanted to come back and update you on how things are going. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing and um, thank you for your comments. Uh, I know a lot of people do make comments and ask me a lot of questions and I try to answer those questions as best I can. If I'm not getting to your question, it is simply because I have not seen it. Sometimes I don't seem to get all of them. So if I haven't answered your question within a couple of weeks, just ask me again because sometimes it's just not coming through and I'll see them like a month later. So, uh, but know that I am, if I get notified that I, I have a comment or question, I will definitely answer you. Um, and thanks for subscribing. I just hope that these videos have helped at least a few people with simply some questions that you might have about going through the procedures, about chronic pain, um, Anything that I could help you with, I'm more than help you to help you with. I just want you to know, this is all my own opinion. This is the experience that happened to me. Everyone's experience with the spinal cord stimulator will be different. It's very important to know. Not everyone is going to get relief and then someone else might get complete relief. So it's totally up to you, up to your doctors. I just wanted to make these videos because I had so many questions and I wasn't finding anything on the internet that gave me the, the answers that I was looking for. You know, sometimes you just want to see what someone else went through just so it makes it a, you know, calms your mind a little bit. So again, if I have any questions, just uh, comment below or find me on Facebook. Uh, it's Karen Scarpati uh, on Facebook. Uh, you'll see me there. Um, also, I am uh, hoping that I'm helping people with their questions. Um, as far as how I'm doing, um, a while ago, like maybe this past month, I've been feeling like I'm getting, like the stimulator isn't really working as well as it did in the beginning. Because after I got the stimulator, I always felt like I got at least 50% relief with the stimulator. And now it seems like if I had to gauge it, I'd say I'm getting like about 30%. But I believe what's happening is it's like you get used to it, just like you get used to anything else. So what I did was I went back to the videos that I had made before I had it. And I said, oh my God. I really am doing much better with the stimulator. It's just that when you get used to not having as much pain, you forget. And that is one of the reasons I made uh, the videos were not only for people to see and, and you know answer questions for people, but for myself. Because it's uh, it, like once you've gone through something, you forget how things were. So I wanted a reference to go back to. And I definitely think that that's a good thing for you to do if you're going through this. If you're going through anything, either make a journal, make a video, um, just write down a few words, whatever you do to need to remember how things were before something else happens. Because you'll forget how bad it was. And when I look back at those videos and I realized how bad it was, then you realize how much it is working. Also, what I did was, just to see if it was actually working for me, I stopped using it for a few days. I just shut it off, and for about three or four days, left it off. And when, after those few days, I was, I was in a lot of pain, and I put it back on, and I felt relief. So I definitely know that it is working, um, unfortunately. Not 100%. That would be like a miracle. But I, it is anywhere from that 30 to 50% uh, pain relief. And that when you have chronic pain and you have pain 24-7 and nothing makes it go away, 30 to 50% relief is quite a lot. Um, 
So um, I still do have pain. I don't want you to think that, like for me, again, these are all my opinions and, and how things have happened for me. I'm still in pain. It's just not as bad. I'm still on pain medication and I still get the injections. So nothing like that really has changed for me. It's just the amount of pain uh, has gone down uh, with the stimulator. And um, that's really, they, that's what they promise. They promise, you know, you'll, you should get about 50% relief. Um, and that's what I got. Um, some people I've commented that they've gotten it and it was like amazing. It's like their pain's gone and that that's fantastic. Other people have uh, written to me and said they're so unsure they don't they don't want to take the, the risk. And I want you to know before you go through any of this, you are um, it's mandatory that you have a um, psychological evaluation and when you talk to that psychologist, <coughs> excuse me, um, you'll find out whether or not you'll be able to go through this. And if you're really that scared, I'm going to say maybe it's not for you. You know, either you don't know enough about it or you're just a type of person that doesn't want this foreign thing inside your body and you, you, you know, you don't want it. You can't you know, force that kind of thing on anyone. So if you're really, really unsure, you're really, really scared, I would say maybe it's not for you. But, you know, if you are taking that 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 uh, next step of going for the trial or going for that permanent, do you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. And uh, that's about now. I just wanted to get you up to date on how things were going and uh, know that it, it, it definitely does help. Not cure, but help. Again, it's Karen, and uh, I am on Facebook if you're looking for me. And um, you can comment below and please subscribe. Thanks. Good luck to everybody out there.